What up Red Sox Nation, this is RBT coming at you with a quick video recapping the Orioles series, which we won two out of three. We're playing some great baseball, but first of all, um, I'm really freaking tired because uh, if you don't know, I got elected senior class president. Yay. I actually was really surprised in the class president our sophomore and my, this year, my junior year, freshman year. I probably would have been president, but we didn't really, we didn't have, um, official positions. We just were freshman representatives, but I'm going to be the senior president next year. And we had our graduation yesterday. And as the junior president right now, I had to be involved with the passing of the torch. And the senior class president from this year, who was also our valedictorian, she had to pass on a torch, which was a electric candle to me when I'm wearing a big old white robe. It looks like I'm getting baptized. I look like an idiot because our graduating class had on blue gowns and whatnot. I had on a straight white gown with no hat, nothing. Look like an idiot. And in front, this is at least in front of five thousand people. And um, I had to walk down the stage just by myself with music playing in the grip background in the middle of every senior through the, the floor of the, the, the court outside one of the wings. And this was in a basketball arena. So I had a long walk with music playing with everybody watching me while I'm in a, a white robe carrying a candle. So that was very, very awkward. I'm glad I got that over with. But the reason I'm tired is because that the graduation started at 6.30 and it's, the place is about an hour drive from my house. I drove up there, and we went out to eat. Didn't get, we didn't leave the place to eat about 10:30. They brought me back to my car. I drove home so tired. I left at 10:30. Didn't get home till 11:30. Uh, took a shower and I didn't get to go to sleep till 12:30. And this is the most tired I've ever been in my life. And I had a pretty long day. So got that out of the way. Um. But yeah, I got senior class president. Hopefully that'll get me some scholarship money. The Red Sox has been playing some pretty good freaking baseball. They played 20 straight games. I'm trying not to make this too quick because I'm trying to download something. God, I'm keeping us track. But we've been playing some really good baseball. 20 games in 20 days, and today is our off day. And we did really good. We took 2 out of 3 from the Orioles. We, that was really necessary. We had to do that. Um, we took two out of three from the Phillies. We split the series with the Rays. We swept the two-game series with the Mariners. We took three out of four from the Indians, and that's really where all the success started. Um, we're back to 500. It seems like this ball club, once we get to 500, we lose. Have not been over 500 this season, but we'll see what happens against the Rays. Um, this this team is becoming a team that people want to root for because of all the injury problems in such an underdog position. Not only do we have our starting outfield, Jacoby Ellsbury, Carl Crawford, and Cody Ross all on the DL, we have our backup outfield all on the DL. Darnell McDonald, Ryan Kalish, and who's the other one I'm missing? Um, Ryan Sweeney, Ryan Kalish, and Dar Darnell McDonald on the DL. And now we're playing Daniel Nava, who hasn't been in the majors for two years. But he's batting, he's doing batting 350. Scott Pesednik, who never hits home runs and has been in the minor leagues for two straight years, decides just to come up and hit a home run for the Red Sox when he's hit about five in his whole career, his 13-year career. And then we have Marlon Byrd, who came over from the Cubs, who was 3 for 43 with the Cubs, and now he's batting 270 with the Red Sox, actually being pretty productive. So we are getting, like, the only reason we won that game against the Orioles yesterday is because a random home run from Scott Pesednik. So guys are are knowing when to fill the void of what we need and it's given us W's and that's all we need. Our pitching's been was decent this last uh, series. Our bullpen, oh my god man, it's been absolutely shut out the last few series. It's been everybody. Vicente Badia, Alfredo Aceves, Scott Atkinson, um crap, I went blank. Um Matt Albers um, just everybody in the bullpen has been playing lights out. And I've even heard that Mark Melancone, or Melanson, why do I always say Melancone? Melanson is lighting it up in Triple A, and he's the guy that I've hated on the first few series. He, his ERA, I think, was Infinity. 
or at least like 90 something but he he would even he's playing like he should come up but our bullpen's been so great why have a change but Daniel Bard um got no decision yesterday uh Tuesday Felix DeBrant pitched okay well actually pitched really good gave up two runs and a bullpen kind of gave it up in the last inning um it got out of hand and the Monday game was back and forth we ended up winning that game um, but our team, man, we're doing whatever we need to to win, and that's all that it takes. So maybe this race series, we can come out of this series oh, over 500, and that will be a big accomplishment because we have not been over 500 at all this year. And as a Red Sox fan, I'm loving this ba baseball way, way more compared to what I saw at the beginning of this month and last month. God, my eyes has been randomly hurting all day. Like, they just sting out of nowhere. But, um, yeah, man, the Red Sox back on track. Hope this Rays series is also really, really important because if we sweep the Rays, we'll be right back up there two games out of first place. I think we're five and a half right now behind the Orioles. So, um, John Lester starts the series tomorrow. Today's the off day, a well-deserved off day. Um, we played pretty good baseball, especially in the second half of that 20-game stretch. Couldn't ask for anything better, especially with the problems in the outfield. Our starting closers hurt. Dice K can be coming back anytime soon. I just want to see this team when we have uh, everybody actually playing. Like Carl Crawford, Chubby Ellsbury, Andrew Bailey, see how he does. You know, it's going to suck if you're a player right now playing for the outfield for the Red Sox. And... You end up getting sent now, not down to Triple A, down to Double A, because basically our outfit right now is a bunch of Triple A players. That's weird. I just came ahead, but I'm um, gonna go ahead and wrap this video up. God dang, it's seven minutes long. Um, I think in a few, like tomorrow or in a few days, I'm entering in this contest where uh, we predict the standings or the records, or so, I think the standings for the rest of the season. I forget the guy's name is Eric P.A.B.A. I think. He's hosting the contest. I'm going to enter it and see how I come out. Um, and that is it, guys. As always, subscribe to my channel for future videos, especially if you're a Red Sox fan, Titans fan, Alabama fan. I um, apologize if I look like I'm dead, but you got to do what you got to do. I will see you guys soon. Um, I'm going to be coming out with the BCS prediction video soon. All American predictions, well, my All Americans uh, for the preseason for the SEC and all of college football. Um, a video, I'm, I'm telling you, I'm doing this video soon about internet, connection between internet and religion. I'm doing that video soon. Um, whenever my channel gets slow, I'm going to do that. And I'm also going to be doing a questions and answers video soon. So be looking out for that. Subscribe to my channel if you have not. I will see you guys soon. As always, Go Sox, go Titans, and roll tide to you. I definitely said that out of order. See ya.